Hello and welcome to a new player review. Uh, it's Friday, we have lots of new stuff coming in, new seasons, uh, new objectives, new icon swaps, new SPCs. Uh, 12th man, um, like everybody was expecting, is Ronaldo and it's a 99 card which looks fantastic. Uh, we're going to start off uh, the reviews with uh, this uh, flashback Marcelo, which is kind of disappointing uh, because he didn't get that big of a boost uh, from his base 85 to an 88. Uh, only and his uh, SPC looks way overpriced but we're gonna have a look at this card because it's easy for me to put in and also I can compare in, um, instead of Mendy uh, that I have here which was a, which is a fitness mod which I, uh, I'm using in my team and after that I want to do uh, uh, complete the uh, Zayic uh, objective and uh, use that card because that card looks nuts uh, that's a card that I'm uh, very interested in so let's start off with this Marcelo. Like uh, we said, it's uh, an 85 uh, base gold card upgraded to an 88. We're used to seeing Marcelo in the uh, team of the year uh, in the past FIFAs, not this year. Um, so uh, he's 174, which is like 5'8", 5'9", uh, uh, high low work rates, uh, left footed with 4 star weak foot and 5 star skills. So everything looks uh, great on his face stats except that high low. Um, work rates, but uh, most of the fullbacks that you see are on uh, high low work rates. Uh, so if you put him straight back, it doesn't really affect him. We're going to go into his details. We're going to see his overall pace is 86 uh, with 87 acceleration, 84 spin speed. I already applied an anchor to this card, so we get plus five, plus five. So he goes to 92 and 89, which is okay speed. Uh, 90 almost overall, maybe something above that, 91 overall. His shooting is great for Marcel, we always know he has good shooting uh, with uh, 78 overall, 87 attack positioning, 76 finishing and 86 shot power. Uh, passing 86, another great stat for Marcelo, 82 vision, 92 crossing, 88 short pass, 79 long pass and 87 curve. Uh, that along with his dribbling, with, which is uh, his uh, next best stat, which is his best stat actually next to passing, is uh, 91 overall with 86 agility, 87 balance. 86 reactions, 95 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 86 composer. Everything is uh, looking great here. Fantastic uh, stats in the dribbling area. Uh, his defending, which needs uh, boosting, is 82 overall with 86 interception, 79 heading, uh, 75 defensive awareness, uh, 84 standing tackle, and 87 slide tackle. And as we see, we're getting uh, the stats with the anchor. I'm perfect 10 chem. We go to 91 interceptions, 89 heading, uh, 85 defensive awareness, uh, 94 standing tackle and 97 slide tackle and his physical at 84 with 81 jumping 84 stamina 82 strength 86 aggression he gets uh, plus 10 in jumping to 91 plus 5 in strength to 87 and plus 10 in aggression to 96 so uh, really it's between this uh, anchor and a shadow the shadow you miss a few points in the acceleration which maxes out and the difference i believe is uh, plus 10 in interceptions instead of plus 5 but you get plus five at standing tackle instead of plus 10, and you don't get any points in the physical. So I opted for the uh, anchor, which I believe suits him well. Um, I don't think we'll see much difference in the speed of 92 to 99 and the 89 to 94. I think it's a pretty small differential there. Uh, I think the stats uh, gained in defending and physical are much better. So. Uh, we'll try this Marcelo out as a left back, uh, but also uh, this Marcelo could probably play in the midfield. So we'll start him in the first game in the um, uh, which one? With the four-two-three-one as a left back. Uh, see how he plays. If we get a good um, sense of how he plays as a left back, we might switch him into a different position for the second game, or we just might go into another game and play him again as a left back. Uh, so today is Friday. We have uh, foot champions. And that's where we like to test the players uh, in the Foot Champions Arena. So we'll go into a couple of games of Foot Champions. All right, so here we go with our first game. A nice uh, La Liga team. Everything there with that Iniesta flashback, which is a great card. And that Santi Cachola as well is a fantastic card. And that Baby Raul I haven't used, but his middle card is very good. So I suspect his uh, baby card is uh, very good as well. So this is going to be the 4 3 one formation. We're going to test out uh, Flashback Marcelo as a left back. There we go. Another chance there. Got a second chance. Yes, good stop there by Marcelo. Very quick. Straight to Marcelo. And let's see how we can work the wing here. 
fast? Not very fast. Doesn't feel very fast. There we go. Got the first goal in. Kind of missed a few goals there because I was trying to um, do a low driven uh, goal uh, because of that Zayat's uh, objective, but uh, just remembered it's in Rivals, so it doesn't count here. So <laughs> those were wasted chances. All right, let's put Marcelo into play here because we're not seeing too much of him. Let's see, he feels very slow though. I don't understand why. Oh, Bernardo, there we go. All right, so the first half is over. Uh, not much done by Marcelo, uh, to be honest. He did have a few interceptions, uh, one or two tackles and one or two interceptions, but nothing really uh, great because everything like uh, fell on his feet. So the only thing that I can say for the first 45 minutes, as we see, he has four and four passes, four and four dribbles. Uh, it's his pace, he feels very slow. I don't know why that is. So let's go into the second half. Let's try him again. There we go, good dribble, fast. Not a good dribble. Good. There we go. What a goal by Marcelo. And we're probably getting a rage quit. And there we go. So yeah, as we we're saying, he didn't do that much. Start off the second half, two minutes in, and Marcelo does that. Obviously that's what you can expect from a fullback that is essentially likes to play and attack all the time. He has a shooting, he has a dribbling. Um, that's what you get with Marcelo, basically. So uh, a very good first, the first game for Marcelo with uh, 8.8 match rating. Um, fantastic goal, fantastic dribbles there, very agile. The only thing to it is that it doesn't feel that fast. So uh, we're gonna go into another game and play him again as a left back and see if we can see a bit more of his speed. All right, so here we go with our second game. Uh, another good team with a mixture of uh, Prem and uh, Eric Dubizia there with some good players, that Zayed's nominee. Uh, once watch promise, uh, very nice attack, solid defense. Uh, we'll see how we do. So we're gonna go again into the 4-2-3-1 and play Marcelo again as a left back. Marcelo though, with almost getting better, it's not getting it now. So dribbles by Marcelo, five star skills. Yes, Marcelo, get it, get it. Under his legs. There's Marcelo, another interception to his feet. All right, so not a very good half, uh, first half. Um, six of six passes, four and four dribbles, and one and two tackles. 7.2 match rating, uh, highest of all defenders, second highest of all the team, so he's doing something right. Um, let's go into the second half. Is not fast again. He's too slow there. Do it. There we go. That's it. Go. go. Very good. Do it. Yes, Silva. Finally. Do it. Good ball. so slow good interception though all right there we go uh, another win uh, thought it was gonna be a lot easier but it wasn't well, at least we get the win check out uh, Marcelo 8.0 uh, the highest from all defenders let's see um, no shots 12 and 12 passes 6 and 7 dribbles 2 of 3 tackles I think he did another great game there. He had another great game. So um, let's go back and have a look at this card. All right, so flashback Marcelo. Um, 
Like we said, a small upgrade, only three ratings from his 85 to 88. Uh, but a very expensive SBC. If I remember, it was uh, 285s and an 87, uh, sort of similar to the Bernardo Silva, but nowhere near as good at, uh, as Bernardo Silva. Um, like you saw, I already completed him with a bunch of untradables I got from the packs that I opened, and um, he's been fantastic for me. Uh, probably the best card I've done so far. Uh, compared this Marcelo to uh, Mendy. Um, I don't think it's any better. I think Mendy is a way better card than this one, uh, even at 85. Uh, but Marcelo has uh, great passing, uh, fantastic dribbling, five-star skills, as you saw there. Great agility, uh, stop, turn. Uh, you can do everything uh, very quickly, very easy with him. But the only thing that uh, kind of put me off was his speed. And although we are at 92 acceleration and 89 sprint speed, he felt very, very slow. Um, I didn't think that he even um, uh, sped past any opponent. I think everybody was catching up to him. Um, we had to dribble around them to get past him. So I don't know what's up with his speed. He feels very slow. Uh, the rest of him is great. His interceptions, uh, his strength is good. His aggression is good. His tackle is, is great. Um, with that plus 10 we gave him to 94. Um, it's, a, it's a good card. It's a great card if I didn't have that Mendy. Uh, this was probably the only left back in uh, the La Liga that you would do to have for any La Liga uh, uh, backline that you need uh, to link up. Uh, also Brazilian, so it gives you a lot of hybrid options. Uh, but um, I don't know, at that price, uh, Bernardo Silva, I believe, was somewhere around 300 and something, 320, 330, somewhere, something like that. So maybe Marcelo is a bit cheaper, uh, 300, maybe just under that. Uh, so for 300,000, I don't think this is a worthwhile card. Like I said, he's an 85. Um, you can get an inform to 86. Uh, there's, I don't know. I don't think he's worth it. But if you need him for your La Liga, he's probably your only option. If you didn't do that, Mendy. But if you were rocking a La Liga defense, uh, you must have done uh, uh, that Footmas Mendy. So if you've done Footmas Mendy, this card is not... Uh, better than that card, Flipmas Mindy is way better, I think. So if you have that, uh, you don't need to complete that. this card. If you need a La Liga left back, uh, I don't know if you have that many options, but for 300k, I might just stick to his normal card or even uh, the uh, gold Mendy. Uh, I think might even be, if not same, it's not, uh, it's, Marcelo is not uh, that much better than him. For 300,000, I would say save your coins. Um, this is not a card that you want to do. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.